Hi everyone, welcome to the video number 59 in Selenium C Sharp course. In this video, we will discuss about the file downloading and verifying the downloaded file. File downloading is a very common functionality in most of the website. So I will just show you a couple of examples here. So one is IP10, it's an intellectual property and tech licensing for uh, IAC uh, website it is. You can see the download full report button is there. On click of this, a file will get downloaded. How do we verify this? One, we have to verify the file name. We have to verify the type, file size and full path. All these we can verify. Whether the file is downloaded successfully or not, these we can verify. Let me go to the another website, NASA. So in this one, I just navigated to some page like Earth Detail. So here we have a free PDF uh, Mobi EPUB. If I click on Mobi, this will also get downloaded as you can see. So I will cancel as of now. But this is these are the types of functionality we have to verify using Selenium C Sharp. So here in our demo application, we'll be clicking on this download button and the file gets downloaded here. So we have to verify this downloaded file. The agenda of this video will be what is a Chrome options class and add user profile preference method, what is Firefox options class and what is set preference method, what is file class and what is exist method, what are file info class and the properties like name, full name, length properties. In one of the previous videos, we have already discussed about the Chrome options class. We are revisiting again with a different method. Chrome options class is used to manage the options specific to the Chrome driver. This class is available in OpenQA selenium.chrome namespace. Add user profile preference method takes two parameters. First parameter is a string, which is a preference name. Second parameter is an object preference value. The first parameter like download default directory, we can set a download default directory. And we can set the value for this, maybe c colon backslash downloads. Firefox options class is used to manage the options specific to the Firefox driver. This class is available in the openqa.selenium.firefox namespace. The method we will be using to set the preferences or set preference. This is a overloaded method. It takes five different types of second parameter. The first parameter remains the string, second parameter it varies from bool, int, long and long double and string. The example code is as below. First we have to create the Firefox options object. Then we have to call the set preference like browser download folder list, browser download directory, browser helper apps, never ask dot save to disk. These are all the preferences. So these two are the Selenium related class. We will use two more classes, file and file info. Both are related to the .NET framework. The file class is used along with the exist method. File is a static class. It is having a methods for creating, copying, deleting, moving and opening of the file. The particularly one method we are interested in today is the exist. It returns a boolean value when we pass a string. The string is the path of the file. What are the file which we have downloaded? That path will give, this method will return the true or false. If the file is downloaded, it will give us the true. If the file is not available in the given path, it will give us the false. And another class we'll be discussing about is file info class and few properties like name, full name and length. File info is a sealed class, so you cannot extend it. It's having several methods and properties for creating, copying, deleting, moving and opening a file. Particularly three properties we'll discuss in the video are length, which gives the length of the file in terms of byte. Name gives the name of the file. Full name gives the full path of the file, which includes the drive, name and folder name. Now let us jump into the application under test. So we will visit the uitestpractice.com student slash widget. 
here we have a link called as download image i click on this image the file will get downloaded so we have to verify this downloaded file and where do we verify we we'll verify in the this path so in the c drive i have created downloads folder right now it is empty nothing is there so any file get downloaded we will divert it to the downloads folder and we'll verify it. now let's switch to the visual studio let's start writing some code we'll start with the creating a test method and the method name i'll give is verify file download i'll zoom here the typical code to launch the browser and navigate it to the url and maximum i'll type it i have added four lines of code which will open the chrome browser maximize the window and navigate to the url and it will close so what do we have to do here so we have to click on that button file download button let's go and try to inspect this so this button you have to click on this link let's try to find out the relative export of this link so as we have seen that link is within the button i'll say button slash a so if i press enter it has highlighted that tag and this is also highlighted so let's use this export driver dot find element by dot export dot click it will click the file gets downloaded but where it is going to download it's going to download in a default location so what we have to mention is we have to set a profile of chrome in such a way that it will download to the downloads folder so before that i want to add a couple of variables here one is the expected path of the file so let's call this as a string expected file path that is equal to at the rate double quotes c colon backslash downloads backslash images dot png that is the name of the file so it should be once it is downloaded it should go to that folder and second one is bool file exists i will initialize with a false value so once the file is downloaded we'll verify whether the file exists it should have the true value so now i need to create a chrome options object as you call the new chrome options and here i will call chrome options dot add user profile preference and here i will pass two parameters both of them are string the first path is the preference the preference is download dot default underscore directory and the path we are expecting is c colon backslash downloads let us pass chrome options to the chrome driver chrome options after adding chrome options we have to wait for a few seconds after clicking the button otherwise before the file is being downloaded it will close the browser immediately you will not get the file so we will introduce the web driver wait here web driver wait uh let me call it as a wait is equal to new web driver wait it takes two parameter the first parameter is a driver second parameter is the how much time you want to wait from seconds i'll give 60 seconds it depends on the file size the file which you are working is a small file it should download within 60 seconds so hence i have given 60 seconds if your downloadable file is bigger 
it's in terms of 10 MB or 20 MB depending on your network speed. So you have to increase that seconds. So then I'll say wait until until I will say I am expecting a boolean value out of it. Create one lambda expression x goes to file exist is equal to file dot exist which file the file which I mentioned that is nothing but expected file path so semicolon now let's run this if the test case is successfully executed we should be able to find the file in that path verify file okay so let me run this browser is launched navigate it to the url test clicked on the element it has downloaded the file so test case is paused let's look into the output folder here you can see images.png is downloaded we have to verify the file size and other things let's quickly get into the the file size of it so i'll go to the properties it's around 1517 bytes one verification that we'll do is file size to get the file length we'll create an object of file info is equal to new file info of expected path that means that file is there right so that file information we are passing now we'll say assert assert dot r equal so what was the file size the file size was 1517 this is the expected value and the actual value it is coming from file info file info dot length same way we will also assert about the file name the file name has to be images.png and then full name full name will include the folder name and directory name so the folder name and directory name has to be c colon backslash downloads backslash images dot png so this is giving a red squiggly because it's a path otherwise it will take it as a escape sequence like backslash and backslash t like that so we have to provide at the rate whenever we whenever we have to deal with the path if you download the same file again in the same path it will rename the file like images of 1.png images of 2.png so that will not be able to verify so what i'll do is from here to here i'll put this code into the try block and this one i'll just make it as in case any exception comes we'll capture here E dot message let me say and in the finally we'll verify whether that file exists or not if it is existing we'll delete that file if file dot exists which file the expected file path which is nothing but the file name if it is there then we'll say file dot delete expected file path done so now this entire test case what it will do is it will download the file it will verify it will look for all these hazards then once the hazard is over it will delete that file so let me run this test case again chrome browser launched navigate it to the url click on the download link and test case is verified perfect so now this is how we will verify the file download for chrome browser now what about the Firefox driver? For a Firefox driver, we'll use the Firefox options. So let me create the object of that Firefox options. Firefox options is equal to new Firefox options. So here we will be using a method 
called as a set preference. This takes two parameters. First one is the preference name. Second one is its value. The first preference we'll set is browser dot download. You have to put it in the double quotes. Download dot folder list. And here I'm saying don't use the default one. Use the second one. What we are going to set now. And second preference we are going to set is. browser download directory and the directory path is at the rate c colon backslash downloads and firefox is having a one feature so whenever we download a file it will ask us to save to disk So we don't want that to display, so it should download by default. So for that, we'll set it helper apps never ask dot save to disk. And second parameter here is mime type. Mime type is nothing but the file type. So it differs from file type to file type. So here we have a image and it's of the PNG type. So now what are the different file types we'll have? We'll have a MS Word, docx file. It will be a text.csv, JSON file, plain text, zip file, and then maybe some exe file. So for all that, the mime type will vary. So now we have created the Firefox options. So let's use the same thing here. So instead of Chrome driver, let's create a Firefox driver. Here we'll pass the Firefox options. I'll comment this line, which launches the Chrome browser. So now we are all set. So let me run the test case again. This time it will open the Firefox browser. Browser is launched, maximized. navigated to the url clicked on the button closed it and it is verifying all that it's fine test case is passed this is how we download the file in chrome and firefox browser i hope you like this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed to our channel this is the time to subscribe to our channel as we will be uploading the testing videos regularly in the ang pro training channel and don't forget to share this video in your circle if you have any questions leave in the comment section i'll be adding all the code and the notes in the video description thank you very much for watching this video